Do gerbils have periods? Well, yes and no. In terms of how humans experience periods, then no. Gerbils don't menstruate. Instead of shedding the lining of their womb, like humans and other primates, they instead resorb them, which is arguably much more efficient. So, if you notice anything like bleeding from your gerbil's back ends, this is a very serious symptom, and you need to take your gerbil to the vet urgently. Now, while gerbils may not have a menstrual cycle, they do have an estrus cycle. And they have regular episodes of heat where they ovulate and are able to get pregnant. Female gerbils will usually go into heat every 4-6 to six days for around 8-12 to 12 hours, although around a third of gerbils appear to have a random heat cycle. And I have occasionally noticed residual heat symptoms in my gerbils the morning after they went into heat. Kind of like a hangover, or a heat over, if you will. During episodes of heat, they can get a bit more angsty with their friends. I tend to avoid bonding meets, tank upgrades, or free rom time if I know one of them is due into heat or I've seen signs of heat. Although sometimes they may already be out before I realise. In these cases, I'll limit their free rom time and monitor much more closely. Signs of heat to watch out for include Excessive foot thumping when seeing the other gerbil. Although if they do this consistently, and in the absence of other heat signs, then it likely means they're anxious instead. With this type of foot thumping, you're also more likely to see them doing it above ground, rather than a spook, where they run and hide in their burrows before thumping to call the other gerbils to safety. Running towards the other gerbil, then turning back. They may also stick their rear end in the other gerbil's face. Like previously, in the absence of other heat signs, it could also mean they're unhappy with their partner. This behaviour is to try and encourage the other gerbil to run after them and initiate mating. Although, another female is more likely to just ignore them. Excessive scent marking. They will likely be more active and scent mark things in their enclosure, including their friend, more often than usual. If you see this in a split tank, it can also mean they're stressed by or haven't fully accepted the presence of the other gerbil in the absence of other heat signs. Mounting. The gerbil in heat may attempt to mount the other gerbil. The recipient gerbil will tend to run away. Sometimes you may also see the other gerbil attempt to mount the gerbil in heat. Make absolutely sure that they're both the same gender if they appear to be mating. Lordosis posture, which is a raised rear end when their lower back is touched. You may not see this when they're separated unless you touch their back, but don't do this more than once to check, ideally not at all as it stresses them out. This sign confirms the gerbil is in heat. Not all gerbils will show all of these signs. Some may show only some of them, or you may see none at all, especially if they come into heat overnight. When you do see these signs, it's best to avoid free round time with pairs as it can cause them to have more scuffles, as can a large tank upgrade and bonding meets. But aside from that, the care of gerbils in heat is much the same as the care for them the rest of the time. And if you want more information about general gerbil care, I've got a playlist with a bunch of videos to help you get started. So click on that and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.